Hello dear students. Let us continue with the chapter Light, Shadow and Reflections. So, when we talk about the different types of light, we talk about the different sources of light. It becomes very important to know that there are not all objects that produce light. So, based on the whether an object can produce light or not, objects are classified into two categories that is luminous and illuminated objects. So, basically these are the two types or two ta categories of objects which we can see or which we are able to see. So, something like we see chairs, tables, bottles and paper, sky, water, trees, everything around us. So, we assume that we are able to see everything that exists on earth. But actually, that is not the case. We are only able to see either luminous objects or the illuminated object. So, what are these luminous and illuminated objects? So, luminous objects are those objects which produce their own light. So, they have their own light or life. They have the ability to produce their own light. So, can you think of an example of luminous object? First example that strikes your mind is the sun. Sun is has its own light. So, sun is a luminous object. So, any object which producing their own light, definitely we are able to see that object. On the other hand, a lot of objects, they are not capable of producing their own light. And those are called as illuminated objects. Luminous objects produce their own light. Illu illuminated objects, they do not produce their own light. We are able to see them. Why? Because the man has made it, right? It is made by a man. It do, they do not produce their own light, right? Thinking that when they are not able to produce their own light, so if there is no light, how are we able to see them? But that's the question that must be bothering you. So what happens in these, like they are not cap capable of producing light, but they are capable of reflecting light to your eyes, which are coming from the luminous object. Now, this part is very much important. Which part? This, that is capable of reflecting. See, illuminated objects are, they do not produce their own light. So, it might be bothering you, how are we able to see, right? Yes, so these objects are made by the man and these man, what they do, they have these objects which are, which we are able to see, they are capable of reflecting, but they are not capable of producing. They are capable of reflecting the light to our eyes coming from the luminous object. So this line is very much important. So there is a catcher. So these objects they will not produce their own light the light is coming from the luminous object and falling on these objects these objects will reflect the light to our eyes and that is how we are able to see the objects so this will become clear to this like in in this picture you see that the sun the sun is capable of producing its light. The sun is luminous object. Right now, the sun falls on the various objects. Right? Yes. On the earth, for example, sun's light is falling on the house. So you see here, the sun, it is falling on the house. Then it is falling here. That is why we are able to see. Right? falling on the tree, falling on the grass, falling everywhere. The sunlight is falling, right? So now the house do not produce its own light. 
the tree do not produce its own light the grass do not produce their own light but all of them are capable of reflecting the light that is falling from the sun rays to our eyes so when we look at the house the light is which is reflected from the house reaches to our eyes and that is how we are able to see the house so this means that these are illuminated objects but they are capable of reflecting light that is coming from the other source of that is coming from the luminous object so that is why we are able to see the object so such objects are known as illuminated object so they are, they cannot produce their own light but they are still visible because they are reflected they they reflect the ri- light which is coming from a luminous object so they are reflecting the light which is coming from the sun since they are reflecting the light reflecting the light means the light falls on them the light rays bounce back and they bounce back and reach over and that's how we are able to see them so basically whatever we see around us all those objects are either luminous in nature or illuminated in nature so i hope you all have understood this session like what is luminous objects and what is illu- illuminated objects let us continue this session in the next class thank you class enjoy learning